So after uh, the um, open questions discussion of the Environment Agency, we're now talking about the importance of chemical recycling from the point of view of packaging. Eric Bouts is CEO of Südpack, and Südpack is a maker of films, packaging films, and on the basis of chemical recycling, they have created a new packaging for mozzarella and uh, Eric. Give us your input in the 10 minutes. I guess you speak to us in English. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it in English. I, I heard it's a, it's a global conference, so I thought it's better to address the audience in English. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, where in the world ever you are. Uh, this is Eric Bouts here at uh, Zutpank in Oberswabia, Germany, where we yodel in weekends and eat maultasche. Uh, we're very excited to be invited by uh, the BASF guys to uh, share our view of chemical recycling and especially what it can do in the areas of food packaging. Let's move to the next slide. Um, we prepared a short presentation today. Uh, we want, of course, a little bit to introduce um, Zutpack, who we are, what we do, and more importantly, how we see superior packaging solutions and chemical recycling going together like a horse and a carriage. We also want you want to show a couple of examples of uh, real life products that are already in the marketplace with our products now. So let's move to the next slide where I will introduce briefly um, Zutpak. Zutpak is a leading producer of films and packaging materials. Our hero products are complex, multi-layer, but ultra thin plastic films with very high levels of functionality. That's important to understand. And we use them in all kinds of applications. Think about packaging solutions for medical and, and food industries. Uh, that's what we will talk about today. But also see our films go into technical components in, in, the, in a in industrial, excuse me, manufactured products. Uh, to make these films, we use a wide portfolio of technologies, uh, extrusion technologies and converting ex technologies, basically. And in designing these, no, go back. I'm not ready yet with that slide. Go back to the previous slide. And um, in these technologies, uh, we designing these, we use a lot of um, high sustainability standards to make sure we can reuse our industrial materials and that we can also use green energies. Um, we have a global presence. Uh, we operate eight production sites and are present in more than 70 countries. That's a little bit about packaging materials. Let's go to the next slide now and talk a little bit about our mission. Our business and mission has always been to contribute to a healthy planet, to enable people a healthier lifestyle and to generate um, healthy profits. Uh, these three factors have been central to Zutpark's strategy since the inception of the company 60 years ago by a, a man named Alfred Remelin. Uh, everyone is talking today about sustainability, but at Zutpak, it's way more than a fashion statement. A healthy planet, healthy people, healthy profit has been the DNA of the company for many, many years, and it will be the DNA for many, many more years. Now, <clears throat> how do we contribute? to this mission? How do we deliver on this mission? Our solution, and I'm talking about <clears throat> the food industry, is high performance, multi-barrier, blasted food packaging. What do we mean with that? Uh, it means that our product controls the levels of oxygen and moisture and pressures in products. It means that we use the minimum carbon footprint to make these products. And that's important to understand because it has a lot of benefits when it comes to creating a healthier product 
and a healthier planet. Uh, the added value of plastic food packaging, high barrier plastic food packaging, is that it reduces significantly food waste by extending the expiration dates and by increasing the shelf life. And in doing so, we can extend the lifetime of food products with a factor three. And you know how energy intensive it is to create food and increasing the, the lifetime uh, of food really creates a better carbon footprint. Also, our packaging creates very hygienic and safe food products. You can use a lot of nutrition information on our packaging. And in doing so, we believe we assist in a healthier living. Also, we have the minimal material use in packaging with very light packaging. Advantage is also here in the carbon footprint. Light packaging has a lot of uh, logistic advantages. We can pack more volume into a container and transporting that container across the world reduces again fuel usage in transportation. Also, plastic packaging compared to other substrates, packaging substrates like glass or aluminum or paper uh, has economic advantages. Plastic is a cheaper, more cost advantage solution enabling our partners in the supply chains to create healthy profits and doing so guaranteeing a sustainable future for all our stakeholders and ensuring a longevity of our company. We believe that is very important too. Um, let's go to the next slide. It looks like we have then created Nirvana and that our solutions are too good to be true. But of course, that's not the case. As you have heard from uh, Dr. Julia Vogel, uh, there is issues. The planet still is polluted by a lot of, of plastic waste. And we don't have enough, enough solutions at the moment, not enough options to address the recyclability of plastic. Um, mechanical, you, you know our products, they are multi material solutions many times. They're not made out of one uh, kind of plastic. They use multiple plastic sources into one film. The problem with mechanical recycling, as already explained today, is that um, not all of our packaging materials, food packaging materials, can be mechanically recycled. And if they can, they're not being allowed to be reused in food packaging. Uh, that's because of many, many food laws across the globe. So here is where chemical recycling comes in. Chemical recycling uh, produces materials that are as good as virgin materials, have the same qualities, have the same characteristics, and are allowed to be reused in food packaging. So we believe that's a gigantic advantage of chemical recycling in combination with food packaging. Um, the world governments, corporations have set very ambitious quota and sustainability targets in almost every country of the world. We truly believe that these quota will be at risk if from a food packaging point of view, we can only mechanical recycle. We need chemical recycling next to mechanical recycling to meet these recycling quotas. And also to have a closed loop kind of solution for food packaging. I repeat, mechanical recycled plastics cannot be reused in food packaging. So the only way to go for these materials is in a downcycled solution. Chemical recycling has the advantage of a closed loop system where we can reuse and reuse and reuse our food, <coughs> our plastics in, in food packaging. And that's not just Zutpak's view. Um, also, our customers, let's go to the next slide, have seen the advantages of chemical recycling. At the moment, we have two live projects. 
Uh, one for mozzarella uh, with a dairy firm called uh, Zox, and the product is Zotarella. And go to the next slide, please. The other one is with a meat processor uh, with the uh, Zermulin Gruppe, a German meat processor, that have a brand called Goodfried. And they also use chemical recycled um, packaging, sorry, materials in, in the packaging. Uh, both companies have been able to reduce significantly the use of fossil-based uh, polymers and as such creating a better footprint. Um, these are two projects that were launched this year and uh, first reactions are very, very positive from the customer side, but also from their customers. Uh, these projects have been uh, intense collaborations and partnerships uh, with us, Sudpac, but also with the guys at BASF and other chemical companies, and of course the customers. I think it's very important to understand it is new territory that we're discovering here. And a close collaboration with all partners in the value chain is of extremely importance. Uh, as also said by Dr. Vogel, it's new territory. We need to explore and understand much better the opportunities, but maybe also the roadblocks that sometimes can be offered by, by new technology. So open communication, intensive communication, exchanging kinds of views and working together to create a better planet with healthier people and healthy profits is important for us and our partners. Surpact wants to be the incubator of this new technology in the future. And we're looking forward to keep exchanging our points of view, our opportunities with you and many other partners in this conference and, uh, and uh, making this all happen. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, looking forward to, uh, to future discussions. Many thanks. Thank you so much, Eric, and thank you for staying in time, basically. Great. By the way, I did. Answer. Louis van der Doublesteen of the Netherlands uh, questions How can we as packaging market get approval of using this technology for current packages in the market and get EU approval that the packaging material is recycled? Can you please answer this very shortly? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat the question? You were just out of audio here. Ah, oh, okay, uh, sure. I couldn't hear the complete question. Can, can you repeat, okay, please? Okay, sure, sure, I will repeat. The question is, how can we get approval of using this technology for current packages in the market? And how can we get EU approval that the packaging material is recycled? Yeah, okay, I understand the question, heard the question, thank you for repeating it. Uh, the good news is that packaging, and I'm talking about food packaging here, specifically food packaging, chemical recycled materials are already food grade materials. There is no additional approval needed. So that's the good thing. Uh, what is still not, what is still out of the, in the question is, are these chemical recycled materials being included in the recycling quotas. And there we still have an open question where uh, a lot of governments have not taken a stance, have not taken a position in how to treat chemical recycling as a recycling technology. And that has to change. And there we have to do an active lobby as an industry as with customers, with suppliers, to make sure that uh, the lawmakers at European level, but also at country level, do understand the advantages of chemical recycling and that it should be included to achieve our recycling quota. Mechanical recycling as such, and only cannot get us to that promised land. We truly believe, we vastly believe, that we also need chemical recycling to get to those quota. Thank you, thank you so much, Eric. And as I said at the beginning, we don't want to dive too deep into the questions of regulation and acknowledgement by the EU, but just that was a question based on your input. Thank you so much, Eric, and you will stay with us for the next decade. And ich gehe zurück auf, sure. aufs Deutsche, meine Damen und Herren. And I switch back to German, ladies and gentlemen.